Hello my friend, long time no see. Welcome back to my studio. The purpose of this video is to introduce you or show you the finished um, number five canvas. The fifth canvas I've signed, finished and signed. Um, the canvas is behind me, you'll see it shortly. Um, it's called Butterfly and it's for a, a friend who actually supplies me with a lot of paint. Um, let me just show you that paint over there. Um, it's stuff that's a, a large department DIY place actually throws away because it's end of end of line um, and it, literally people bring it back to the store they don't want it so it comes to me not very often but when it does it's it's gratefully received it's mostly emulsion um, but I find that I can use emulsion as a, as a base the way I build things I can use an emulsion to, to tie it all down and then use some acrylic to, to um, add the colour afterwards. Okay I'm going to show you now the butterfly canvas. Vanessa is due to pick it up in um, a couple of hours time so let me move out of the way and reveal the canvas to you. Okay, I think you've got it in shot there. Right then, what have we got here? Well, Vanessa, I asked Vanessa what she would like as a, as a canvas and she simply said I like the colours brown and purple and also like butterflies. So I was looking for some inspiration and I quite liked, when you, when you Google butterflies, like such as this one, a purple emperor, um, you get some nice shots, close-up shots, and I quite liked the idea of creating a canvas that looked like a, a focused shot on um, a butterfly with the the um, blurred background. It didn't quite come out the way I wanted because I actually introduced this tree trunk to 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 add some um, something to the canvas. Um, but the tree trunk has sort of has come towards towards me a bit. Um, it still works, I think. It's, it, I think the um, the leaf is basically card, and I've glued eggshell, broken eggshells, on this. I'll show you close up in a second to get this effect. Um, the butterfly here. The wings are actually made out of the covers of travel magazines. The covers of these magazines are quite thick, but not too thick. Um, they've got lots of flex in them, and I don't know what they're coated with, but they really grip the paint when you put a base layer on, um, and so you have no worries about the paint coming off of these things. Okay, um, I literally started by painting this with a black undercoat, again from um, throwaway paints, um, and then built up the acrylics on top. Okay I've, I've created a little body of my butterfly. Um, I'll show you this up in close-up shortly. So the leaf is, is in the foreground here and then we've got to step away to some soil here. There's another butterfly on the ground and then it drops away down. You may not see it but there's another butterfly here um, to this area where the moss covered roots of this tree. Okay this tree is actually made from a t-shirt I used to have. Um, over Christmas I got some nice new clothes and this is a t-shirt that uh, was no longer needed by me so I've cut it up and created a tree out of it. Okay let me bring this closer to you now so you can actually see some of the, the detail and you can also get the effect of how 3D it is if you like. Um, by me showing you that the butterfly is in fact sitting on the leaf um, and the, the, tree, the tree is actually um, is pronounced as it were, I, I can't remember the word for this sort of thing, but it's this here you can see the top that gives you an indication, I, I left this on purpose to show that um, you can actually see in there, if you look in there, is the colour of the old t-shirt. Um, what I did with the t-shirt to create this 
this um, wood effect, this tree trunk effect, was to paint it with um, a watered down coat of PVA glue. Several coats in fact, well say several, three coats. Um, and each time it got more and more pliable and I could mould it into this sort of shape and I then covered it with some black gesso which gave me even better control over it, both sides. Um, and then I could shape it into the the, the desired shape. Um, I then glue it in place and then once it was glued in place I then painted it. Um, what we've got down here is this, this butterfly is um, literally just a, a print of a butterfly that I've painted over um, and it's sitting on the ground, on the foreground and then the ground drops away. This darkness in here that you can see is actually um, a tea. tea. I, I drink um, chai tea which is cinnamon and root ginger um, and I simply broke, I, I coated this area with PVA and I broke the um, tea bag over this and let it fall and, and simply just left it. Um, once it was dry I touched up some of these, some of the tea leaves with a green brush to give this this small leaves effect and I've also added, although you probably won't be able to see it, but I've added some tufts of grass here and the grass is actually from um, a, like a fur, in fact it's just here in front of me it's this sort of thing, it's a fur, a fake fur neck that used to be on a coat. So I've, this is pretty useful stuff. If you actually, it's not very nice to work with. You do need to, um, you almost need to wear a mask with it because it goes into, into your mouth very easy. But you can treat it with a little bit of PVA to get some control over it and then paint it afterwards. But it, um, it's come up, I'm, I'm going to keep that and use it again somewhere. Um, we've got another small butterfly in there on the ground um, to try and give some depth. Of course as we come away we then come away and find the, the big butterfly. Now the big butterfly is... Um, I didn't create the legs on this thing, I was going to but it, it didn't. It just didn't seem right. It was building a model rather than a piece of art. But what I've done is painted these with... painted these wings with um, with acrylics and then varnished it. I'm not happy with the fact that I varnished it, I don't think. I think it's far too glossy, but I think that's done now. What's done is done. I'll, I'll remember that for the next one. Um, I've added some feathers in here, if I blow these. Um, these butterflies have a nice big feathery edge down towards the, the, ab the bottom of their abdomen, and I created, again, these are just feathers from um, an old dream catcher in fact. I think they're cockerel feathers to be honest um, and also these feathers, these hairs here are from the um, the same collar that I showed you earlier and then I put a bit of detail on the the head here, a couple of eyes uh, and there we have it really. We've got, oh the eggshells for the leaf I, feel, I can show you here in detail. If you look there you can see the broken eggshells um, I created just a large cut out leaf um, and, and just started that took a couple of evenings watching telly gluing eggshells. Okay and then that's coated with a gloss. I'll put this back on here so we can see it in its distance. Okay so that that's canvas number five called Butterfly. I um, hope you enjoy it, I hope you like it it's it's um it's been fun to do again like all the other ones I've done it, it's not turned out how I envisage it would turn out but it's okay it's nice um I think I'm having a, I've got a bit of an aversion to the shininess I think but I don't know how I would how you could get away with doing this sort of thing without protecting it with a varnish I don't think you can because the dust would cling to it Whereas now, with a, with a very light brush, you can dust this quite easily. So I think um, I'm just going to have to get used to it. The matte varnish doesn't really dry matte, it dries with the shine. Um, so that's maybe I should just try looking for a, a, a matte varnish that does, just doesn't shine. 
Um, and I think because when you look on this, I've, I've chosen to show you here on my board because it's got no real reflection on it, but you can already see there's quite a lot of reflection on, on here. And if this is hung in the wrong place, then you're just going to see light bouncing off rather than actually see the, the um, canvas. But anyway, I've talked long enough. Thank you for coming back to me. Um, I've got another video to post on YouTube as well of the uh, the Walk in the Woods canvas that I created with my grandsons. But I'll, I'll load that shortly. Uh, and my next piece is going to be a canvas called Blue Lover. I love blue. It's just... Blue just brings me alive. Um, and I haven't painted a blue picture yet, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay? I haven't got really any idea in my head as to what it's going to do, but I'm going to get a canvas out later and start it. All right, well, thanks for coming back. You take care, and I'll see you soon. All right, goodbye.